At first we were going to discuss the mission of Sasa Huko Kwaji, but it was not easy. We were going to go to the house. 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 Ama mtoto wa misha enda, juu ni mdogo. Mm. Lakini ya poko tuna hii throughout, unajua vile anaendelea, ukisikia taka mwili nikana joto, utakimbia kwa nasi, wende umuambia. Uzi nikikuwa nishia lose hope, venye ndio na umu mgena umikufa, nikasema hapa, ni mungu tu sasa. But, madaktari wali nipea mwoyo, kaniambia, akifikisha 1.5, watamutuma hapa kangaru. For example, to go to ward for more, kuna wali wali kujia kitambo kuliko wengine. Kama mi ni likas 21 days, so ni lingeza kufundisha wengine zile zenye wajaza kuelezewa. But kila wakati daktari wa kingia wana elimisha jinsi ya kunyonyesha watoto na sana sana exclusive breastfeeding mali unanyonyesha mtoto maziwa ya mama peke yake. Na to na na legeza tuhi, then I just turn her, then she breastfeeds. Akimaliza ku breastfeed, back to the position, and then she winds up. Is is this intervention kangaroo mother care only a preserve for the low birth weight babies and the premature babies, the babies born before term? It's recommended for preterms and low birth weight babies because of 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 the benefits that I have alluded to. But skin to skin care or contact between the mother and baby can be done by even the term babies. Yeah, but for, for, for better outcomes, it is really recommended. It's even a bleach all recommendation as an intervention to reduce mortality among the low birth weights and the preterm babies. A term baby will not agree to that position. The person who discharges themselves from the kangaroo position is the baby. The baby actually says it's enough and throws them, themselves away from that position. They are the ones who say when they've had enough. So a term baby even will not agree to be kangarooed long. They'll agree maybe one, two days, and they'll put themselves out. So kangaroo, the prem and the low birth weight really do well on the, on the kangaroo position. The other babies tend to resist it. Nilianza kumweka akiwa na 1.5 kilograms, mpaka alikata akiwa na 3 kilograms. You can continue with the, the, the same, the KMC, as long as the baby is comfortable. No matter the weight, 2,500 grams, this can still continue until this baby now rejects the position and reject now the kangaroo. Tangamoto ni hiyo usingizi pia kuna sababu baada ya kila masa tatu inabidi wakuje kunyonyesha. Every three hours usiku na mchana lazimu wakuje kunyonyesha. So sazingine unapata usingizi mepita analala. Na mtoto wakilala hiyo wakati atakosa kunyonya hiyo wakati. Lazimu wakue mzuri juu uwe tukua kwa kama venye unakombea tukua kwa easy rooms so tukua kwa ward na unakuja so lazima mkue close jo hata kabla mkuje huko unakuwa musha mingine unakuja wate kama group sindo sipokuwa karibu na obviously watakuwa chaka umelala so uneza jisa au lale kusa kuja kufidi mtuto wako na ukikosa kufidi mtuto wako pia yoni shida like natukua po kwa easy rooms unapata tu watuto kuna mtoto mgonjwa kabisa kuna mwingine shida yake tu ni kilo so una, una have kupewa mwingine encourage unamwambia mtoto atakuwa tu sawa na tunasaidiana tu vitu mingi juu unapata kuna mwingine hata ana mtu akokuja kumuona hospitali so ukikuwa na exclusive utanini uta atakuwa tu sawa as a mother i'm able to show them and tell them this is where i started this is where my baby was and right now as we talk my baby is around 36 90 grams and this has been through the kangaroo so they're able to take it positively. And also not only now in the clinic, in the hospital setup, when on my way home, they, they usually ask, why unabeba mtoto aje? So I tell them, the reason why unabeba mtoto hivi, ni sababu ni kimbeba hivi, mtoto kizaliwa kama hajafika, anasaidika sana mtoto kibebo hivi. This is not a women affair as they sometimes say, oh, this is a women affair. The way they used to call me the new woman in town, women, women, women. No, this isn't a women affair, Bana. You are talking daughter Niwako. In a far Usadia Mamma Sasigin, they are a field quamba, a conabana. Joe catch a baby apple pecaca, when I'm past trace as in Guinea. At a time when you are ask here, I is this really my husband? If she is really, why can't he help me in this situation? 
So ilibidi sometimes hata kwenda kazi ilikuwa shida kwa sababu Cynthia mwacha peke yake. Ilibidi sasa naanza kazi late na rudi mapema nitoka bayo. Sasa kikazi ni adhiri kidogo. Lakini nilijua ni kitu ya muda tu nitakuja itaisha. English is interesting. Mother and mothering is not a question of female. It's a question of parenting. So if you asked me it would be parenting care, but the language does not allow it. So it's mother care, but it is parenting. It can be done by anybody and everybody who has a chest. The first baby, I stayed in the hospital for two months. So I did the kangaroo for two months in the hospital. Then I went home for only one month, then I went back to work. So only four weeks with the baby, I did the kangaroo. But now going to, to work, back to work, I have now another person. You bring now in your sister who can be able to do the kangaroo before you come back from work. We don't only target the mothers, we target the the father and the other family members who live or reside in the same house. Mimi nilichukua very positively. The only challenge came when I had started telling my friends about KFC. I, some, of them, some of them start calling me some funny names. Like this is a new woman in town, but this is a women affair. <laughs> There's a friend of mine. Tumikuwa tu kazi kawaida tu, tupauda kazi ni wajua sasa ni story story tu. Aile harakati ya kupiga story jamaa akakuja. Oh. Ana anaongea tu ndio asikie chenye nasema. Anasema, "Eh, kwani wanawake bado wako hapa bwana? Wanawake waenda wapike bwana sawa kwa nyumba." <laughs> There's a very big difference. Si kama kitambo ulikuwa kiza preta mbebi, unaona anaweza ataaga tu dunia kesho. Sasa hizi wako na hiyo roho ya kufanya nini? Ya kuweza kukubali mtoto ni mdogo na atafanya nini? Atakuwa. Does it negate any medical interventions that may be necessary for this uh, this special group of babies, or does it render them unnecessary in a situation where a mother or a facility has embraced uh, this intervention for the preterms and the low birth weight babies? It does not. Actually, I would say it uh, it has it it when you start KMC. One of the things we do is we assess the baby's condition and make sure that this is a baby who is stable enough to be uh, on the mother's chest. And therefore, this is a baby who does not require any, any life support machines, does not require any other critical care. So once a baby is stable, then you know that this is a baby who basically just requires um, warmth and just that bonding with the mother. So it does not negate on any other medical interventions. Observation in Dr. Kunele Rola and Acheza, na mama kikuja, mama teza kuangalia mtoto kila mahali. Mana sa zingine wanakuwa watoto wengi. So Dr. Wakio watoto mawawili, hawata manage watoto miyamoja kuangalia thoroughly. So, role ya mama, tulikuwa tunailezewa, ukiona kitu yote kwa mtoto, uweze kuelezea Dr. Dio uweze kujulishwa, ni kwenini nafanyika hivi. Nilitoka hospitali akiwa mwezi mmoja na wiki mbili. Alikuwa na 1800 grams. That is 1 kg 900 grams. Mm. Uh, here in Pumwani we have an agreement of discharge at 1.8. Different centers do it differently. We actually score the mother for discharge. She has to qualify number 1 that she is able and confident to do kangaroo herself at home. She can place that baby on that position on her own without needing anybody's help. That she is able to do it for more than 18 hours for it to make sense. Number two, she has to be able to keep herself clean. Clean the baby's utensils, clean herself, hand washing, basic things which we observe in the ward. And finally, we have to look around in the community she's going to. Are there people there waiting to give her hard work or is she going to be able to do this kangaroo? So we actually score the mother. And we not only score the mother, we also score the baby. Is the baby eating well? Yes, the breast milk might be there, but the baby might have difficulties feeding. So we are not going to let them go home. So we go, they go home once the baby is fit to go home, the mother is fit to go home, and the environment in which they are going to is ready for them. So they, it's a scoring sheet all around, so that when they go there, they didn't just survive in hospital, but they go there to thrive. After the child has reached uh, the right weight, 2,500 grams, what next for these babies? Because, well, they are not yet grown up to the way a term baby would be. What next in terms of follow-up for the growth and development of this child? 
I think that is one of the areas that uh, I would say is one of the areas that we are facing challenges uh, because we do not have a very robust follow-up mechanism. We have follow-up mechanism indicated in the in the in the KMC implementation guidelines, but they are not. It's, it's not very detailed on how you should do the follow-up mechanism, uh, because most of the time when these babies are discharged, what we do, especially in our program areas in Nairobi, Bungoma, Busia, we have established mother-to-mother -mother support groups, and uh, we have a follow-up uh, system, either in the outpatient or in the newborn unit, depending on the facility, or the setup of the facility. So these babies are followed up up to a period of, uh, the recommendation is that they are followed up up to a period of one year. Once they get home, we expect the mother to continue kangaroo mother care, to continue feeding the baby, and also get that support for, for them. We also see them every week after they have been discharged, so that we make sure that their weight gain is still continuous, because we are looking for at least 20 to 30 grams a day of weight gain. And also that the baby is not getting any other issues and the mother is still confident and able to do it. And she's not having any difficulties and the support at home is still available for her. So we see them every week until they reach the 2.5 kilos. When they get the 2.5 kilos, they are discharged to the normal clinic to, for vaccines and normal growth and development monitoring. But we still look out for them for at least one year so that we are sure this baby is actually going to work go to school, she'll just be telling the story of how small she was, or he was. Nikarudi after two weeks, kuangaliliwa kama wako na any challenge. Kidogo kilo ndo ilikuwe mirudi chini. Wakaniambia ni vizuri, niwe nikinyonyesha, ni na make sure ni kona wawo. Na the next time ilikuja walikuwa me gain weight, and ni kona it is true. The more attachment, hata baba yao, ili mueleza. Any time kona watoto, washikilie. So at the kama ako kwa nyumba kama ana nguo alikuwa anawaekelea hapa alafu ananisaidia sasa zile nafanya tu either nimeenda kubafu eh anajishikilia na wao I am a champion mother we are supported by the save the children so through their program we are able to meet mothers in antenatal clinic and also them who come to the normal well baby clinic where they bring the small children so we are able to reach them and sensitize the society on the importance of doing the kangaroo or the KMC. What we are encouraging is that we have an, an integrated uh, follow-up mechanism too, so that at least when a baby, when a mother comes to the to the clinic, for instance, to seek immunizations and seek any other form of care, then it becomes part of it. So you don't have to task the mother to come every other time, come for KMC follow-up and also come maybe for immunization. So we'd really like the ministry to take up and see how this can be integrated into one approach, yeah, especially the follow-up system. What has the impact of kangaroo mother care been like across the country and in especially the counties and the hospitals where you have been able to implement this intervention? I would say we have the, country, the counties, I would speak for Bungoma, Busia and Nairobi, we have really seen reduction in uh, newborn deaths as a result of uh, preterm and low birth weight uh, causes. We started uh, kangaroo mother care intervention in, uh, in, in Bungoma way back in 2014 and uh, it was the first time that uh, we were, that the country was, 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 that we were supporting the country to, you know, to, to start this intervention, basically. Uh, and this was, was this, this we got from, uh, as a result of support from uh, GSK. We have partnership with GSK who are part of the, the people, the, the, the corporate institutions that give us funds. So in this particular case, we had funds for, to start uh, a maternal newborn health program in Bungoma. And one of the intervention areas was around kangaroo mother care. So uh, we started this intervention and uh, we, we started with five health facilities which had a very high um, mortality. And within that period of uh, about two, three years of intervention, we really saw that there was a reduction in the number of babies who are dying, and especially due to prematurity. Because then at that time, prematurity was the leading cause of, of, of deaths among the newborns. And they have, after this intervention, we saw there was a reduction. In Bungoma alone, we, we were able to, 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 to to see about 4,000, 4,500 babies within that period. 
and um, and 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 the, the lessons that we learned and the best practices that we learned from Bungoma as an as, as an intervention area is what has really guided even. Uh, us to work with the Ministry of Health, one, to develop also guidelines, because when we started off KMC, we did not have any guidelines on how is it interven inter how is the intervention, how is it implemented. So this is one of the it's best practices that we got from Mugoma that supported us to support the National Ministry. And it's also those best practices that we really, that helped us in the scale-up that now we are doing in, in, in in Nairobi and also we have supported the National Ministry to do scale up in about 21 counties so far. Save the Children have been very in the forefront and also through um, GSK, uh, Glasgow Smith Klein. KMC practice is one that has a lot of evidence of uh, success and uh, it has uh, very high uh, survival rates uh, for babies who are initiated. For babies who have initiated on KMC, we I think our survival rates have been up to around 98%, I would say so, looking at the data that we, we, we have. Uh, so it's an intervention that can really turn around uh, newborn, um, new, newborn um, health. Right now, uh, we are speaking about uh, newborn mortality, neonatal mortality of about 22 per, per 1,000 live births. That is, that, that is one intervention that can really bring down that, um, that, um, those, those numbers into a very lower rate. Uh, two, uh, we also like the, the county governments, because health now is a devolved function. The county governments can be able to take up this and really run with it and see that it's something that at county level, if they, if they embrace this intervention, it's going to change the face of, of, of newborn care. When you're talking about universal health care, we should not leave out the children, because then that is the future of the country. So once we, these are the small, very low cost uh, practices that we need to embrace that can help change uh, the face of, the, uh, of health in the future. Na kuna mama mwingine hapa anaona hii ni kama yani ayuko sure ni nini tunafanya but ukiendo ukimwelezea ukimwambia hii kangaroo mother care inasaidia mtoto juu hata mimi wangu alikwanga preterm na alikwanga kilo kidogo unamwelezea kwa nini ni muhimu ni importance yake ukishamwelezea obviously mama mama atakataa unless ayuko atake huyo mtoto wake survive ni kangaroo inakwanga willingness na hygiene you know the key nini things the kwa kangaroo mother care kukwa kwangu si kwa na kwa kama mtoto watoto wengine si kukwa na mwili kubwa i was a very small person nilikuwa na mwili ndogo so even my friends and my neighbors walikuwa na shida wakinicheka sana mpaka walikuwa wamenibandika majina za kunikejeli ambapo nilikuwa pia nikikua nilikuwa na shanga nitai kwa mtu mkubwa nitai kwa mnene lakini venye nilimaliza form 4 Nikianza college nikashika mimba nikajifungua mtoto na nikajifungua mtoto mkubwa ambapo hata mimi mwenyewe singeza ku expect niliza mtoto mwenye alikuwa 3.9 na mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa 1.5 and then when i gave birth to mtoto wangu wa pili nikazaa mtoto wa 4.1 na nikakuwa mkubwa kuna watoto wamezaliwa hata wadogo kuliko 700 grams na wana survive so ile kitu muhimu ni wakati mama anakuja asihurumie mtoto asiangalie mtoto kama huyu ni wangu kweli ajipe ajipe mutisha na ajiweze kuji encourage mwenyewe ya kwamba hata huyu mtoto anasikia siku hizo zazila na muongelesha kama nikasitiana na mwambia mami tutatoka na wewe hospitali they here wanasikia so ni ku encourage mama waweze pia kuombea watoto wakati kama huo na wasikue na uoga na wasikue na ile ya mtoto anaweza kufa a a kwa kweli tu na ile nimekuja hospitali kujifungua na nitatoka hospitali na mtoto ama watoto sometimes when i look at men when the, how they neglect their wives in such time of need, I feel very disappointed because uh, imagine this is these are twins here. Yeah. Imagine if I could live with uh, my wife with all the children, believing that this is a women affair. I think ningempea kasi ngumu sana being that ya pia alikuwa mifanywa CS. Asa anga ngana na kaza nyumba, angana na watoto hapa. No. I think men should uh, just pull up their socks on these matters. They should know that the wives, baby, si mfanyi kazi, you are helper. You have to help each other. Kusaidia baby kwa nyumba, I manage sasa tiwe pia ni mwanamuke kama ye. Yeah. 
bibi yako ni bibi yako sasa wewe nani atamsaidia kama wewe siwe kama wewe siwe unamsaidia ningependa tu kuencourage wamama wenye wanajifungua watoto preterm wasikufe moyo kwa sababu hiyo si mwisho ya dunia na sio mwisho ya mtoto wako na haimaanishi ukijifungua mtoto preterm ataaga dunia haezi aga kama mimi si kuaga wako wataaga kangaroo mother care is seen as a low cost high impact intervention especially in resource poor settings where maintaining incubators or the personnel to run them may not necessarily translate to reduced infection rates or reduced death rates among the newborns particularly those born before term or with low birth weight that's where we wrap up this episode of health digest with me dr masikorir